salient. Not because I want to be critical. Hey, this part of the world and us. The crime, the drugs, the corruption. And yes, yes, the immigration issues that we now want to cure with a wall. Look, agree or disagree that these actions help cause these problems. Fine. At least we should all know about what they are, right? What the United States has done in Latin America, right? It's important. It's newsworthy, noteworthy. Especially when our news media now seems hell-bent these days on constantly sharing stories with us day in and day out about election meddling and about election interference. Imagine if a foreign country had said, well, you know, your elections are pretty bad. We don't recognize uh, President Trump. We're going to recognize Nancy Pelosi because that's the equivalent in Venezuela that the U.S. is recognizing the Speaker of the House uh, as the president. You know, the one thing that uh, sort of grabs my attention is when we, we go down and interfere, we put on sanctions and all kinds of uh, controls. At, at the same time, um, you, you know, uh, th- we, we use it. We have a policy of isolationism by the government, and yet those of us who t- t- have a position of non-intervention, it's essentially the opposite of isolationism. But that's about what we do. We isolate the countries. Uh, we try to divide them. We try to put our guy in, and uh, then and, and, and have coups. And, and actually, uh, uh, you know, the failure rate is pretty high on the long term. But in the short times, a lot of our coups work. Just think of, you know, the thing that we complain about the most here in the last couple of years has been the coup that we participate in Ukraine. Yeah. Brokathia Howell, Brokathia Howell Shire, Brokathia Howell, Brokathia Howell Shire, Brokathia Howell, Brokathia Howell, Bahashim Yahweh Shire, Bahashim, Karkwadash, the blinds of the apostles, and the slack. Let me say that over again. My my head just realized that my head on Brokathia Howell, Brokathia Howell Shire, Brokathia Howell, Brokathia Howell Shire, Brokathia Howell, Brokathia Howell, Bahashim Yahweh Shire, Bahashim, Karkwadash, the blinds of the apostles, and the elders of Great Mills on True Well. A salutation to the whole elect out there, man. You brothers that do this thing. And the Adam was uh, truth and sincerity on the pre shaman uh, This week's topic is going to be into the uh, the coups that America stages in Latin America, quote unquote Latin America, and uh, the coup in Venezuela, um, which is also you know quote unquote Latin America. Uh, and um, the reason we touching on this is you know Amer- the United States have a tendency to stage coups pretty much all over the world instead of puppet leaders. All right, they're not the only nation that does this. All right, but they're the primary nation that's doing it. Um, uh, putting up public uh, governments in the United States' interests, and um, they've been doing this for a long fucking time, man. Now, the reason we focusing on this in the scriptures is because the uh, Latin tribes, all right, the Lat- this the Latinos, if you will, South Central uh, parts of America, Southern America, Central America, all right. Uh, parts of the West Indies, such as the uh, Dominican Republic, because this guy Rick Sanchez brought out in video of RT, and uh, this guy Ron Paul, he's going into just Venezuela. All right, these are the these are the these are the ten tribes. All right, the ten lost tribes of the nation of Israel, the Northern Kingdom, man. All right, the so-called Puerto Ricans on down to the Mexicans, man. All you gotta do is read Second Ezra, the thirteen chapter, and the Book of Second Kings, the seventeen chapter, it goes into, um, you know, them being scattered during the time of the Assyrian, uh. uh uh, the Syrian captivity, Assyrian captivity. Now, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 3. It says, And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. All right, this beast is going into the Roman Empire. All right, how was it wounded? It came back. Um, it, how was it wounded and healed? The Roman Empire is here today. All right, the, the American Empire is nothing more than the Roman Empire. Um, all over again. That's that beast, all right? All right. Um, it says, And they worshipped the dragon, which gave power onto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth and and blasphemy against the Most High to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle. See, so I guess, hey, that name is important. All right. That name is important, IUIC. 
His name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. To blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Here we go now. And it was given him and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Now who's the saints? The saints pursuant to the book of Psalms 148 is, is the sons and daughters of Israel. Well, let me go ahead and get that. I don't have it on the list. Go ahead and get that. <clears throat> See now. And yeah, when you watch that Rick Sanchez uh, video, he shows that there's been coups being stated all throughout quote unquote Latin America going back to the 60s, alright? And there's still coups being staged today, man. Primarily they want Venezuela now, man. And the tactic that they're using is uh, these sanctions. They're putting heavy sanctions on Venezuela. Venezuela's a very, very rich um, country, man. Rich in oil, all right, and gold. Venezuela's very rich. But why are they fucked up now? They fucked up now because um, these different sanctions, man, all right, that the, the, the um, so-called United States uh, put on them, man, all right? So they can't really, you know... They can't trade and get the money that they need, man. All right? So they're getting crippled right now. And the, the, the ultimate goal is to what? To have, as they brought out, as Ron Paul brings out, is the, um, the goal is to uh, have the uh, create civil unrest. That way the, the people overthrow the guy that's in power. And then, of course, the U.S. is going to come in and put in who they want to put in. And the guy that they're trying to put in, in the Venezuelan uh, head right now, all right, went to, uh, uh, went to uh, Washington University, man. All right? So you know he got ties with the CIA, man. And that's what America does. All right? Now, this is the Psalm chapter 148, verse 8. It says, He also exalted the horn of the peop his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the sons of Israel, even as old English for which is. So which is the sons of Israel? A people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. So this beast, all right, the so-called white man, he's been making war with the saints since... Um, uh, 70 AD, um, coming over here in cargo slave ships, uh, the Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, uh, the Negroes coming in and the, the, the Natives and Latinos being exported, man, all right? Talking about them Taino Indians, okay? Uh, different types of uh, so-called Indians, man, all right? So we've been on all types of different cargo slave ships, and this devil's making war with us today, all right? So you going up in there, fucking up, all right, the so-called Venezuelans. Now, you know, two-thirds of our people deserve that death, but guess what, man? The elect is scattered all over, man. So this, you got, hey, you touching any of the elect out there, all right, which possibly, that is possible, it's not impossible, it's possible that you got members of the elect being uh, slain in that coup, man. All right, so the most side is going to get pissed off off of that, man. And again, just off the fact that Israel, all right, yeah, there's two thirds, but that's still the Lord's anointed, man. All right? Because he has a chosen with it and the chosen, but Israel as a whole is his chosen people, man. So for you to be touching Israel, all right? The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans primarily highlighting Native American. Uh, it's like a right primary we like highlighting the Latino tribes. You're gonna have to pay for that, man. All right. So the most is having you build sins upon sins against yourself, man. So you can get that great judgment promised to your ass, man. Now I mentioned uh, that the Romans been doing this, all right. But you know the so-called white man, all right. Um, that the so-called white man, all the way from the leopard to the bear, all right, all the way from the Greeks to now, I've been fucking with Jake for a long time. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 21. I beheld, and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them. All right, again, that's, that, this is going all the way back during the time of the Greeks, man. All right, Antiochus and such. Okay. Putting hell on Jake, man, and you devils always had a... a a hatred for us, even before the Greeks, man. In fact, you Amalekites was the first nation war with us when we came out of Egypt. But that's what the, that was. That's what the prophet told Rachel, man. Two nations in I womb, man. All right, from from birth they were fighting, man. All right, so the so called the so called um, white race and the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are always going to be war and always going to be against one another, man. Jacob and Esau. All right. Hey, man, so this cool right here, you seen that they're trying to do in Venezuela, all right? It's not going easy as it did at one time. Why? Because you got this uh, Venezuela, you you going in there with The United States is going in these particular countries with sanctions and wars, but you got countries like Russia that's coming in there with money and support. 
And they wrote out in this video that what? A lot of these coups tend to backfire in the long term, man. All right? On the United States. All right? Because these particular countries that they wanted, such as um, Iran, all right, uh, Syria, who else? They say, I'm talking about these Middle Eastern nations, all right? They, they, what happens is the people ultimately o overthrow the uh, puppet that you put in, man, and then begin to hate America, man. So they, all that, all the most is having them doing is create these coups, having them backfire, and building that hatred to fulfill his prophecies, man. All right, because these nations are gonna hate that whore, man. A lot of, these, a lot of these nations that America didn't spread that democracy to, man. Hey, the scriptures tell us, man. They drank of that wine and they mad. So a lot of these nations are gonna plot and they're gonna have to destroy America again, and they're gonna have to unite because the the United States military is the largest and most powerful military in the world. Um, Zechariah chapter 2 verse 8 For thus saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai of hosts After the glory hath he sent me unto the nations Which spoiled you For he that touches you Touches the apple of his eye Who's that you? Alright First and foremost You know Israel Alright Also primarily going into the prophets too man Alright Because you have the sons and daughters of Israel That destroy uh, the prophets, so man, hey, the most is gonna have to bring a lot of judgment to this fucking place, man. I mean, just the nations, two thirds, just a lot of judgment that's gonna have to come, man, because there's a lot of innocent blood being shed in this whole fucking time, man. All right, and then we already know that the, the, the saints, the blood of the saints, just be crying onto the most high, man. All right, but anyways, you got the United States going over there on um, parts of uh, uh, Central America, Southern America, um. And, you know, just, again, putting in coups, man, all right, toppling governments, crippling governments, making them extremely poor, that they stay civil unrest and then throwing who the fuck you want to throw in to have your best interest in heart. And the fucked up part is, if Venezuela wasn't so rich in oil, all right, these particular nations weren't so rich in oil, Haiti, um, and gold and minerals, they wouldn't give a fuck, man, all right, but they'd rather see the people suffer so they could gather the, the riches onto themselves. And that's these rich elite banking families, man, the ones that you don't see and talk about. All these different uh, presidents and puppet leaders that's being uh, set up, they being pulled on a string, man. Just like the elites are being pulled on a string by the Most High, really. All right? And we, the prophets, some of the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone, hey, we're going to tell you these things, man, because that's that's our lot. All right? We tell you everything. We actually get into things, man. This ain't about uh, some type of gimmick to draw masses in, man. This is about bringing out the truth. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 105, verse 10. It says, And confirm the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for everlasting covenant. Say, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan the lot of your inheritance, all right, when they were but a few men in number. <sighs> I believe it was 70 souls. Yeah, no, I, not I believe. It was 70 souls that entered into Egypt, man. That 70 soul became damn near the whole... Majority population of the earth, man, because Israel is the number one in terms of populace, right? Each tribe is pretty much like a nation, man, right? We grow exceedingly. It says, when they were but a few men in number, yea, very few, and strangers in it, going to the land of Egypt, like I just mentioned, when they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake, for their sake saying, touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. And you devils have done the exact opposite, man. All right? You've destroyed the nation. Of, not destroyed, but you fucked up the nation of Israel. All right? You're still trying to go on uh, different Israelite-owned countries and topple them. All right? And you're giving hell to Israel um, in, in, in Babylon right now, man. Which is America, man. And the prophets, hey, man, you 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 going in on the prophets and we're going to see great uh, greater persecutions. All right? But we're getting all types of hells on our channels, man. All right, now daily lives, and we know you devils know who we are, man. All right, hey man, but again, this is just on to your own. This is just this is the most high, um, making you just put more strikes upon yourself, man. So when he judges you, he's gonna judge you heavy. All right, this is the last scripture. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. It says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And, and the reason I want to bring this up, man, is because that shit is getting played out, what you're doing, Esau. All right, the U.S. going in in the guise of democracy, man. All right, and here it is. You got your own Edomite people, 
bringing up, bring it up, bringing out information on you, man. That's why the scripture says your tongue's gonna fall upon yourself, man. Everybody's waking up to the fact that what you do and what you do is you create sanctions, all right? You fuck up governments, you topple governments, and then you and you make the you make the people hate the 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 true uh, quote unquote democratic leader that they voted for and elected by crippling the economy, putting the situation, putting them in a, a economic uh, disasters that they can't come out of. That they be that they be civil wars, man. And a lot of them civil wars, the United States stage, man. All right, what they use they they use a uh, psyop, all right, and they use um proxy proxy uh, groups, all right, to make it look like this complete uh, unrest, and then throw in who the fuck they want to throw in, man. And people are waking up to this bullshit, man. All right, and guess what? Even the nations allied with you are gonna turn their back on you, man. Great Britain, France, and such, man. All right. Hey, but you devils keep doing what you do, man. But guess what? The information is being brought out. As the scripture says, knowledge shall be increased. You got the prophets primarily bringing it out. But look, man, again, I just showed you two videos. Rick Sanchez and Ron Paul going to the same current issue, man. That thing going over there in Venezuela, man. The, the war to get Venezuela for its natural resources, man. All right? Hey, that was just a quick one, man. This devil's going to pay for what he's doing right now. Okay? And, um... We'll see. We'll see, man. We'll see. It don't. It look like. It look like what what's going on on Venezuela is the same thing that's going on in Syria and Iran, man. You got nations backing these particular nations that the U.S. want to take over with their coups, man. So hey, something got to give. With that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, the blinds of the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone True Well. And salutations to all for the elect out there, man. You brothers that sincerely do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.